Hello everyone, welcome to yet another Two Minute Tuesday. Today I want to show you the first tip out of a three week series. So these th next three tips will be combined. So if you enjoy this one, make sure you tune in to next week and the week after that so we can kind of put it all together. But today we're going to talk about how to show um, a number of days a lead was open, for example, which is a common request from customers. Now, this doesn't only work with leads. You can make it so it shows you how many days or hours or months or minutes. You know, the, 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 the time, the way you track the time doesn't really matter. The technique works for either one of them. I'm just using days as an example. But you can use it for how long was a contact open? How long was an opportunity open? Whatever it is, you can have a counter based on two dates. So that's what I'm going to show you today. So in order to do this, obviously, we need to be on the maker portal. So let's start the countdown and let's go. So here within my date, I'm going to navigate to tables. And once I'm inside tables, I'm going to look for lead. So going to lead. And again, this works for any entity. I'm just using lead as an example. And then here are the columns. So let's go ahead and create a new column in this place, which is a field, really. And for this one, we'll say um, how many days was this open? I don't know. Was this open or was it open? Well, let's just leave you like that. Why not? Uh, the data type will be a uh, whole number because it's how many days, which is, I mean, you can do it with a decimal too, but I'm just going to go whole number on this one. And uh, required doesn't matter, but we're going to make it calculated. All right. So we make it a calculated role, uh, calculated field or a calculated column, how they're now called inside of the maker portal. And once this is saved, we're going to go into the actual field and modify the formula. All right, so let's open this guy up and let's go to the calculation. Come on, why is it not opening? All right, there it is. Okay, so first of all, because we're counting how many days, and I, ju I just noticed I misspelled that, obviously, um, because um, I'm counting how many days was it open. It's only going to work if, the, or I only want it to work when the lead is no longer open, right? Because that's, that's the whole point of that calculation. So I'm going to say if the field status, oops, sorry, status, not status reason, but just status. There it is. Equals. Why do I have not enough space here? Qualified and disqualified. All right, that's only when I want to know how many days was it open. If it's still open, I don't want to know yet because we still haven't closed it. And here I'm going to use a formula called diff. And there you go. As soon as you type it in, you can see days, hours, minutes, months, weeks, years. I mean, you get any option you want. In this case, we're going to use days. And all we have to do is enter the two fields that, we're, that are going to make up this formula separated by a comma. So the first one is going to be created on, right, comma, modified on. Of course, the whole point behind that is that modified on was the last time this record changed, which is the time it was qualified or disqualified. So we're going to give me the difference in date or subtract the dates from modified on based on created on. So it will take the days and it will give me a um, you know the math basically on that. Um, and that's it. So we're gonna save and close. Yes, I know I'm doing that, and we're going to add it to the form. All right, so lead, go to the lead form. I already added a section called timing on the lead just to save us some time, but I'm gonna drop it there. I added it on the top right, it's just a section. So timing right there. And uh, let's just sort by custom to make it faster. How many days was this open, misspelled? Just drop it in there, no problem. That's the field we're gonna save. and publish although i could have just published without saving which is save and publish but all habits are hard to kill sometimes okay so now we're going to switch back to dynamics and see how our field is working so let's go into close leads let's open one of these you can see the calculation took place 
So this was a close lead. Obviously, this was a lead from the sample data. Apparently, it was open for 1,472 days, so a long time for that lead to be open. But that's pretty much it. So once you add the field, it will tell you the number, and obviously, you can use that number to you know do calculations put it on you know charts things like that uh, and take advantage of that the idea is that you know you can leverage that information to figure out ways in which you can improve your lead qualification right your, your lead qualification times so if you see some leads for example that are getting closed way faster than others you can figure out what is it that makes those leads so special so you can apply that information to the other leads and kind of speed up the whole process that's the whole point of having a fee like this one so once again this is part one of a three-part series so make sure you tune into the other two weeks but for now I hope you enjoy this video if you learn something new please click on the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not already and we'll see you next week